Good day, grade 10s. Now we are getting to the nitty gritty of probability. We need to learn some definitions and some terminology. So let's go through it. First of all, an experiment. Now, I know some of you have done science. Think of an experiment as something with Bunsen burners and chemicals and that. But in probability, an experiment refers to an uncertain process. So, for example, flipping a coin or throwing a die a number of times. That is an uncertain process. You don't know if the coin is going to come up heads or tails, or you don't know if the die is going to come up in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or a 6. So, that's an example of an experiment. Outcomes. Now, the outcomes... An outcome is a single result of an experiment. So, for example, if we flip that coin, there are two possible outcomes. Either it's heads or it's tails. We're not talking about the weird thing where sometimes coins land on the edge. Okay, normally when we flip a coin, there are two possible outcomes, either heads or tails. Or if we throw a dice or a die, we could get one, two, three, four, five, or six. So those are our outcomes. An outcome is a single result of an experiment. Now, the sample space is a set of all the possible outcomes for an experiment. So, example, when we throw a coin, our sample space is heads and tails. And when we write it, we write it at S, that's our sample space, equals nice curly brackets, HT for heads or tails. You can write it out, but it seems silly when you've got lots of possible outcomes. Or again, if we are throwing the die, our sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, because it could possibly be that. If we're throwing two dice, then it would be 1 through to 12. Do you agree? Because we'd have two dice, both going up to 6, so then our possible outcomes would be 1 through to 12. The number of the sample space is the number of outcomes in that sample space. So N of S is the number of outcomes in that sample space. So what do we think? That sample space has got heads and tails. Therefore, the number of that sample space would be what? It would be 2. And this has got 6 sides. The coin's got 6 sides. So therefore, N of S of the die is going to be 6. OK, not too bad. Hey, right, let's look some more. An event is a specific outcome. In other words, if I am throwing a dice and I get tails when I flip that coin, that is a specific event. So specific, an event is a specific outcome, all right? Or if I throw a six when I roll the die, then that is a specific event. The event would be a six. Okay, so a specific outcome of an experiment is called an event. Now, N of E, is the number of elements in the subset. So in other words, it basically says, what could I possibly get as a specific outcome? And in this case, for both of the above, the possibility of me getting a tails is one. Okay, there was one element in that set, and I got one in that. So that is N of E. And grade 10, that's, it. that's your basic definitions and terminology. So you need to make sure you know those definitions and understand how they work so that you can answer questions that, come, that you're going to be coming across in the next few lessons. Have a great day.